wonderful independence. Man, I wish we could be a little more independent from the heat that's upon us. <laughs> that's just what we have to live with when we live in Texas, right? The greatest country in the world. So listen, a few, uh, a few weeks or maybe even a couple of months ago, I had shared with you guys that, uh, that I started this training program to run a 5K. And uh, so I've been working this program, and when I first started this program, I could barely even run for one minute. Like, it was killing me, right? Right? A minute. Doesn't sound like that long, but you start putting one foot in front of the other, boy, that minute is a long time. And so, um, as I've been going through this process, it just keeps steadily increasing the time that you have to run. And so, the program that I'm using is called Couch to 5K, so like couch potato to run in a 5K. Well, this week, it, it really bamboozled me. I mean, wicked chow. <laughs> this week, day one, not even day three, day one, it's five-minute warm-up, which is just a brisk walk, and then it says, run for 20 minutes. Ooh, oh, my goodness. Oh. Hey, that's <laughs> what I said, Brother Bill. I said 20 minutes. Last week, it was eight minutes. Eight, which I was like, eight. Oh, my gosh, eight. So I said, okay. Okay, this is what I've been working towards, right? This is what I've been trying to do, and so... Um, I said I can do it, and as I, I started the running portion of this this uh, workout, I was passing our house, and Cowboy comes out, and he's about to go to the grocery store, and I said, hey, Cowboy, and he says, how's it going? I said, it's going good. I have to run for 20 minutes. Kind of wanted some sympathy, and he's like, you can do it, and I was like, I can do it. <laughs> I can. I can do it. I just got to keep putting one foot in front of the other. That's what I have to keep doing. And so I did that. And then the whole time that I'm doing it, I'm thinking in the back of my mind, I told Cowboy I could do it. I told him that I could do this. I can't let that boy down. I cannot let Cowboy down and not do this. And so um, I'm, I'm, I'm running and I'm running and I'm running and I'm getting closer to the goal. And let me tell you, even at 9 o'clock in the morning, it is blistering hot. Texas. And so there's little patches of shame on the street. And I'm like, okay, Jesus, please just let me get to the next patch of shame. <laughs> and the next patch of shame. And then the next patch of shame. And as I was going through that, I was like, thank you, Jesus, for the shade. I just I appreciate the trees so much, Jesus, that you have put on my street, that I could run in the shade of, of this tree. And he really impressed upon my heart that that's what our Christian life, our walk, looks like. That we're enduring. We're putting one foot in front of the other, constantly doing the task that he has set before us. And he puts these little patches of grace that look just like shade for us to run through. And as we're running through that grace, he just heaps it upon us. And we feel refreshed. We feel renewed as those little patches of grace cool us down. They, they, they strengthen us as we're stepping closer and closer towards that goal. And at the end of this run, there's a sign at the end of our street that says you can go this way or this way. And I'm looking at that sign. I'm trying not to look at the ground. I'm trying not to look at my clock, like how much longer I have left to run. I'm just looking at that sign. And that's my goal. And in our Christian walk, we need to keep our eyes focused on Jesus. And let me tell you, the harder that I ran, the more in focus that sign became. And the harder you run towards Jesus, the more in focus He comes in your life. Yes. And that you can, you can trust Him. As I got closer and closer to the sign, guess what else happened to it? It got larger and larger as the distance shrank. That sign got bigger and bigger. And that's exactly what happens as Jesus heaps this grace upon grace on us in our run towards him. He gets bigger and bigger. And that gap gets shorter and shorter and shorter until we are there. So I want to encourage you that whatever race you are in personally in your life, look for those little pockets of grace that he wants to shower upon you to refresh.
refresh you, to renew you, and to keep you putting one foot in front of the other as he becomes larger and larger as you run towards him. Oh, and I did 20 minutes. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Y'all want to bow our heads, we'll go ahead and pray. Father, I want to thank you for today, Lord. I just want to praise you for everything that you've done for us, Lord. And I just want to praise you for your presence, God, and, and for sending your Holy Spirit down to us as a, as a guiding um, factor in our life, Father God. And I pray, Jesus, that as we are walking through this life and there's, there's trials and tribulations and things that would draw our attention away from you, Father God, I pray that you would just... Give us discernment over these things, Father God, and help us to persevere and keep our eyes on Christ, Lord, the, the, the one and true goal, the only thing worth fighting for, Father God, and that's, that's the eternal life that we have in you, Jesus. And we thank you, Lord, and we praise you in Christ's name. Amen. Amen.
and we literally this is a it just God put it on my heart to play today and we've never played it before never practiced it so uh, go easy on us <laughs>
It's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. 